Hubble just captured the most horrible object in space. This galaxy is unlike any other you've seen. After colliding with Centrist A, a cannibal galaxy 200 million to 700 million years ago, these fragments are all that's left of it. In a manner similar to how a praying mantis captures its prey, Centrist A devoured the space flesh of an unidentified galaxy. The ruins of it created this peculiar dark disk, but it's not the only strange thing in the cosmos. We'd like to invite you to take a virtual tour of some of space's scariest locations today. You'll learn which galaxy serves as a battlefield for the two unstoppable foes that the Sol Nebula that resembles a face portrays. Finally, we'll learn which locations in the cosmos are the most amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today we'll be taking a look at what Hubble just captured in space. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video, it helps us a long way. Since NASA was established in 1958, astronauts have set foot on the moon, left rovers on Mars, found thousands of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside of our solar system, and built a powerful space telescope that can take in-depth pictures of Neptune's rings. Scientists can investigate the dark energy, dark matter, and dark radiation that make up 95% of unseen space. It's difficult to comprehend the enormity of the cosmos, and research shows that it's expanding much more quickly than previously believed. Even though it's unlikely that humans will ever map out the entire universe, they continuously explore it. Be mentally prepared for some bizarre cosmic facts. The universe can be compared to an ultimate horror show of endless darkness that is extremely hostile to life. In other words, there are lots of strange things about space. If you're the curious type, all you have to do is glance up into the night sky and consider how small the Earth is in comparison to the rest of the galaxy or any of the things on this list that will give you nightmares for days on end. These may be the most frightening of all the spooky things about the universe in space. In space, all scales and numbers are obviously considerably larger than they are on Earth, as you already know. Our planet's core is thought to be about 5,000 degrees Celsius in temperature. Envision a few million suns clustered in one location at their peak temperatures. The solar core's temperature can reach up to 15 million degrees. The Hubble Space Telescope discovered 200 enormous star clusters in ARP-220, a location known as an ultra-hot star factory. These massive stars are known to have high core pressures. They consume their fusion fuel at a rapid rate as a result of it. The stars consequently exhaust their hydrogen supply very quickly and perish young. The rapid star formation will come to a stop after 500 million years and the majority of the stars will evolve into yellow dwarfs. Even if they do, they won't be any more interesting to observe than light bulbs in an old factory. But what about extremely cold temperatures? The average temperature of the Boomerang Nebula is 2.7 Kelvin. The Boomerang Nebula is the universe's coldest place with a temperature of only 1 Kelvin. The Boomerang Nebula spews gas at incredible speeds, and that's all there is to it. Be cautious though, since getting trapped in this region would be far more frightening than attempting to cross the street in Thailand. In addition, these emissions not only deflect interstellar microwaves that may heat the nebula, but also transfer heat away from the interstellar clouds. But if this extremely high temperature can be explained in some way, we certainly never expect to see some of the phenomena in space. The Red Rectangular Nebula is a classic cubist artwork. Have you ever heard of it? Since there shouldn't be any straight lines in space at all, astronomers are dumbfounded as to how the cosmos was able to create a geometric pattern of that kind. They claim that this ideal configuration of two cones, whose tips meet in the middle, emerged as a result of shock waves, which is hardly surprising. Pay notice to the fact that this space gallery provides both abstract paintings and some portraits because the majority of great works of art have been produced at the expense of immense suffering. The NGC 3324 Nebula holds something that has generated a great deal of debate in the scientific community, as true literature enthusiasts would attest. A design that strikingly resembles the profile of a well-known Chilean poet named Gabriela Mistral was fashioned by multiple hot young stars' strong stellar winds and emission lines. Although, in all honesty, there is another famous person that this silhouette makes us think of. He should be sent to far-off space, which is the greatest option. 
No spacesuit is necessary, but even then, it wouldn't be the most bizarre thing in the universe. In the universe, certain galaxies simply cannot coexist in harmony. For instance, the galaxies M82 and M81 seem to be racing about after each other in a crazy fashion. Two perhaps has the appearance like someone has detonated dynamite inside of its nucleus. Gas fountains are visible emanating from its center as captured by modern photography technology. M81 and M82 are wandering through and around each other, which is the issue. These galaxies will ultimately collide and unite to form a single, massive galaxy making M82 the brightest of the known galaxies as a result of its peculiar interaction. Even going blind is a possibility if you get too close to it. Even between items that used to, or at least seem to, work well together, space conflicts can occur. This sort of argument broke out in Stefan's Quintet in the constellation of Pegasus. In the year 2000, the Hubble Space Telescope captured an image of one of the Quintet's galaxies, NGC 7320, which turned out to be lying far closer to Earth than its neighbors. At first appearance, these five galaxies appear to be a tightly linked cluster. Unfortunately, the quintet split up into a quartet and a solo act. Nevertheless, there are times when strained encounters across galaxies develop into rivalries and really tough fights. It's like getting inside the Crash Team Racing trailer when you take a tour of the Antenna Galaxies. The NGC 4038 and NGC 4039 galaxies collided 45 million light years away from Earth, experiencing it in real time hundreds of millions of years ago. The material that sparked the formation of the Antenna Galaxies was being spewed by these two titans as they were locked in an embrace. In around 5 billion years, when our galaxy collides with the Andromeda Galaxy, we will almost certainly witness the same scenario. We can already predict the future of this crash plot if we analyze the Antenna Galaxies extensively. The nature of the conflict that comes next is extremely frustrating in the meantime. Initially known as M64, the Black Eye Galaxy was leading a regular and unremarkable life before its moniker was given because the in-charge astronomer was bored. A billion years ago, it's thought to have collided with an unidentified galaxy, which is when everything began to change. And as the two space objects combined into one, new star formation was triggered in the shearing zone, where the two opposing gaseous segments pushed against one another. The remains of M64's previous foe may be seen in the enormous dust cloud. It hasn't had time to fully merge with the disk of the primary galaxy. The conflict is actually between two creatures within a single galaxy, as it turns out. However, make a promise that you won't tell anyone about it, as it is, after all, against the Intergalactic Fight Club's first rule not to discuss it. However, exploring these locations is still something that humans can only imagine, at least for the time being, but our home planet also has many shocking things up its sleeve. Furthermore, we can visit them to view for ourselves. Take Death Valley in Eastern California with its enigmatic sailing stones, the Fly Geyser in Nevada, or the mind-blowing Riddle Comments section as examples. Where would you like to go first? And if you want to know more about our cosmos, watch some of our other videos where we describe and examine some of the most bizarre planets that have ever been discovered. And that ends today's episode. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our video today. If you did, please click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more. And we'll see you next time.